Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to continue working in uh, 2006 Electra Glide Alter Classic. Today we're going to start by uh, painting the two fenders. We uh, kind of paint outside today. It's not that hot and we have some, uh, it's a little bit windy which is not good. But we got everything ready, wax and grease removed. Uh, after we sanded here we uh, have some uh, exposed metal. So we're going to put some um, etching grime first on these. And then after this, we'll get the paint ready and uh, we'll get them painted and uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, that's so far. That's how we're gonna, uh, like what, three coats now? Yep. Original color. So we get to let it cool off and dry. Then we're gonna get in with the clear coat. Clear coat. Yep. So I think it looks beautiful. The color matches, and actually, you can tell the color that's match from the original paint. And that's, that's the original color, and that's our paint with no clear coat. I think it matches. Great job! Good for really, really great job. Yeah, good for he, he did it. He's the paint guy. Painting outside with no, like, it's no fun, <laughs> it's not no controlled. Control. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be back after we uh, get the clear coat and we'll see how it looks but yeah as, as usual it's like if you want to paint a very good paint very good paint job always be inside clean environment no dust okay guys we're done with the clear coat we've got two layer two coats of clear coat and look how nice shiny it still have some trash definitely we're painting outside but it's like a mirror now we laid out very nice and smooth Again, there's some run here and there, but again, he doesn't care about the run and all what he wanted, get his motorcycle done. Again, um, happy with how it looks so far. If we need perfect, again, we can sand it and buff it, but he said he most probably will not do anything of this. He just will, uh, he's happy with how it is. Again, we're just doing a side work uh, for that motorcycle. He doesn't want to get like very nicely like the one we did for the 2013 but we happy with the paint match and everything look here between the old and the new paint how they are the same color they are perfect so we're gonna leave that to dry most probably move it to the sun and then we're gonna start get the front and the assemble together the fairing and everything All right, so now we're gonna do the headlight. We actually got that new one here. It's an LED, like one, two, three, four uh, spots of light. It's, it looks nice, actually, I like it. But you see how this one is sitting? It has those notches. They go inside this groove in the metal frame. Uh, so when we try to put the new one, it is not going all the way because this back is big huge difference between this one and that one so to rest this all the way down on that metal frame we're gonna use the multi-tool and just cut all this extra here so to make this goes all the way down and rest all the way so we can actually get after that we get this metal frame that's how we actually hold the headlight in place so you guys we, I think now the next step is we're gonna cut that that piece here from the bracket because now we try to fit in and still and it's hitting here on the edges so uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is just I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut all the way around here around the edge here so I think we'll fit after this let's see what's gonna happen okay guys we got the main headlight done we also started uh, this side of the fog light or basing light we didn't we figured out that the camera like uh, the battery uh, did so it's the same thing we're gonna do here 
is to remove that bezel first with a Phillips screwdriver here. We'll take that piece off. Then you're gonna have the, the ring uh, and the light. And we have to switch this uh, harness here because it's not gonna fit um, the new uh, LED headlight. So we're gonna have to switch this one to the new one and we'll show you how. So uh, that's the one came with the, with the, these LED. Um, you're gonna have to remove that cover first, just like holding on the sides here. These two tabs. If you guys uh, saw the the videos we did for the 2013 one, it's we we did the multiple of these um, harness change because we had to change the handlebar, and uh, that was the only way to switch the wirings inside the handlebar. So don't don't forget, guys, to go back. Okay, and you remember, you have one side that is open, the other side that has a uh, now open and that will go with your uh, plastic piece here and um, what we're gonna do now you guys you see these two openings we're gonna go from from that here and aim toward the metal connection here like in down you're gonna you might hear click or you might just like uh, feel it and again start to come out that's it easy same thing here we are gonna come from there aim toward the middle and yep I can feel it out done no bad no bad here is the opposite and that's mean when we put these Back, we're gonna have to kind of switch or flip the metal connector also make sure you are gonna match the, the negative and positive together so we got them out now we have our replacement one that's most probably black as a uh, ground and that's the current or the positive so it's the same here so gonna make sure so that will fit over here like that okay so we're gonna have to put the black one on this opening and the gray one here will be the other opening again it's just simple you're just gonna clip it in okay guys you look much better now everything you figured that bezel is not wide enough to close all the way around these are larger bigger uh lights now we have some uh, leds turn signal so that's what we're gonna do now check the difference guys between these uh tinted or dark or black lens and um, I'm, I'm so excited and waited to see when it turned on. Maybe we're gonna have to use the resistor that came with it. We'll see how it goes and look how this one look. It's even transfer, this bar here with a headlight will transform how that bike look in the front. So we're gonna keep working. Then uh, we're gonna head back to the, to the bike and finish everything in the inner fairing so be ready to install the outer fairing with the new headlight and that bar light
Okay, guys, we got everything connected, and uh, this sees a light. I think to turn these on, you're gonna have to have the spot fine. Yep, it's very, very bright, nice looking LEDs. Let's turn these off, the spotlights off, and uh, look how beautiful are these uh, <coughs> running LEDs. And let's see the signal lights. It's going okay. Okay, so it's gonna need a transistor or that volt reducer or whatever, uh, like what we did in the 2013 one. Uh, we're gonna have to come here. Um, yeah, and I think it's gonna go, we're gonna find out. I think that's the, will be the continue running. One of them will be for the spot and one will be for the signal light we're gonna have to find out like exactly what we did in the 2013 one then we're gonna have to add these uh, volt reducer or transistors um to uh to the turn signal ones then after that we will be ready to put the outer fairing with the um led light on it and we'll be finished with the whole front top end then after that we're gonna put the fender and the wheel break everything back in the front and we'll be done with the front end completely so let's keep working let's keep going and we'll be back after we get ready to put the front fairing on all right the uh, resistors for the led lights we use the self-tapping screws and we fix them with this metal frame because they get really hot so you, you don't want to connect it to a plastic it will melt it it gets really really hot the other side with it the same way also self tapping screws and in the metal frame uh, we put the fender back and the wheel uh, the main bolt on the other side this one uh, we went with a 65 foot pound uh what we have left the front fairing, just the front fairing yeah, with the, headlights. the headlights and we'll be done with the front end of that motorcycle and uh, before you close everything you just make sure your connections are good so and so everything's working and i love the led it's very bright it's very bright it's very strong with that headlight itself i think we're gonna have very good light Okay, so we'll get the front fairing and try to put it on. All right, now we're gonna install the front uh, fairing. And if you remember, we did that plastic welding here and that spacer was missing. You can order it. It's built in spacer with bolt. You can order it. How much is it? 10, 15 bucks. 10, 15 dollars, okay. So that's what we did. We went to the hardware store. We got different sizes of the same thread, like the original piece. We got extension. I got this and we cut it. But actually, I remember this at the hardware store. Actually, they sell them with no head. So you can get them just the thread, just the uh, screw part. Anyways, that's what we did here. But you see, there is a difference in height. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna substitute with washers to get equal height. And we're gonna screw this in the... Uh, put them on. Let's put them on, okay. So, the usual way you go in both sides. I'm gonna go with the original one in the side we did the plastic welding. And the one we fabricated and the other side All right, guys, that's the final product. I love it. Uh, and if we turn the spotlight, we're going to see everything is on. My next plan actually to change this, but not now. Now we're just going to take care of 
the whole bike in, in total. So I'm still missing and I'm still debating which windshield I'm gonna actually install. So that's without windshield. It needs some uh, uh, TLC, but that's how it looks like with the LED lights, the fender after we uh, sp uh, spray paint. Oh, actually, it's actually paint, not, not spray paint, but um, that's how it looks like. Um, I might change this or not. I'm still debating, but uh, for now, that's the front end of 2006 Electro Glide. Ultra Classic, uh, pretty much rebuilding. And our next step is gonna be taking care of the back with the fender, the seat, the saddlebags, uh, the touring pack, uh, the touring pack, right? Yes. Um, so that's the front. And next step is gonna be the back. And uh, I love it. It's coming together. It is. <laughs> Oh my God, it took, it's taking so long. But anyways, thanks for watching. Um, please, if you have any comments or questions, uh, just uh, send it to us. Uh, please share, subscribe, and uh, like. Tell your friends. And um, if you have any questions even not related to this video, uh, you're more than welcome to send it to us. Um, you might learn something. Uh, sorry, we might learn something and tell you uh, the answer to your question. Uh, thanks for watching.